leading cause of sudden death in children. Pediatric cardiomyopathy is a chronic disease of the heart muscle. Lisa Yu and her husband lost two children to it, and they formed the Children's Cardi Cardiomyopathy Foundation to teach families about the risk. Also joining us is Dr. Daphne Sue of the Children's Hospital at Montefiore. I want to thank you both for coming in. Um, and we're, we're sorry for your loss. Um, but you have created this foundation in hopes of educating other people. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, your children and, and why you started the foundation? You've raised about $8 million. Yes, thank you. Um, well, my husband, Eddie, and I, we started the foundation in 2002 after we lost two children to cardiomyopathy. Um, our first son died of a sudden cardiac arrest, and he was not diagnosed until after his death. Um, our second son, knowing the history of mm -hmm. his brother, uh, he was diagnosed at birth, but unfortunately died waiting for a heart transplant. Um, so we knew at that point that we had to do something. Um, we really wanted to call attention to a poorly understood disease and um, to take action on the lack of medical progress and also low awareness. So, Dr. C, you had worked with Lisa's uh, second son, and uh, so you were familiar with their story beforehand. What are some of the risk factors that uh, families deal with? It's a genetic. It's a genetic inherited disease. And I think the risk factors are really the most important risk factors: family history. Mm -hmm. Do you have somebody in the family who died unexplained at a young disease, at a young age of unknown disease? Do you have somebody who maybe needed a heart transplant and was unknown? And most of those patients do have cardiomyopathies. The symptoms of cardiomyopathy are symptoms of heart failure in children. They don't run well. They get chest pains. They can't breathe when they exercise. They often lose weight and are kind of small for their age. So there are a couple of warning signs, and mm -hmm. then there are certainly ways to screen families and screen children. And if we screen them, we can do an EKG, an echocardiogram, and make sure that they don't have it or find out if they do and treat them. So as soon as you can know, and you can start screening at birth, right? Your second son was started to be screened at birth. Right, you, you can if you know that you have a family mm -hmm. history, you can um, ask to be, your child to be screened. And I, I think the challenge with cardiomyopathy is if you have it, uh, it affects people differently. So some may have symptoms and some may not. So, you know, why we want to talk about this disease is so that people will understand the signs and symptoms and look at their family cardiac health history and try to identify those kids that are high risk. Uh, so that um, they don't become a victim of sudden cardiac arrest. Actually, cardiomyopathy is the leading cause of sudden cardiac arrest. Yeah, now probably a lot of people don't know that. And, and Dr. Sue, what is the biggest challenge as uh, you know, the co-director at, at Montefiore Children's Hospital in terms of you know, getting parents to pay attention to these signs? I think that people are afraid to mm -hmm. know something's yeah. bad in their, in their family, so mm -hmm. they don't want to go to the hospital, they don't want to talk to the doctor, but really it's better to know. If you know early, you can treat it. If you know, you can look for a heart that maybe get a little sooner. We might have found something for Kevin if we had known a little earlier. Mm -hmm. So I think there's things that, that not to be scared of a disease because there's things we can do to help to it. Kind of attack it, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you so much both for coming in. And again, we're, yeah. we're sorry for your loss, but we appreciate so much what you're doing with the foundation. And thank Dr. Sue, thank you. Oh, thank you for having me. All right, let's give you the website. Uh, for more information, you can go to childrenscardiomyopathy.org. That's childrenscardiomyopathy.org.